Shalom, Minister of Souls, but give no praise to Yahweh, but Hashem, Yahushua, but Hashem, Kakadash, double honors to the Apostle Great Millstone, and honors to you brothers doing the work of the most on truth and in sincerity. Yahweh is a real name with whom the world ignorantly calls God Jehovah or Yahweh, his real name is Yahweh, and his son's true name is Yahweh Shai. And when we pray, we pray Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba meaning in, Ha meaning the, and Shem meaning name, so Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai. This is on the news that Henry Kissinger has, as this uh, individual here put it, finally died, <laughs> right, aged 100, right, and even just on that, man, I was, you know, thinking about how when you look at these uh, elites, right, just how, how, how bloody long they live, um, which, so I'm going to start here, it says Psalm 73 from 3, for I was envious of the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked, for there are no bands in their deaths, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. So, you know, you basically see how they are. They just live in a good life, right? Whereas the rest of us, man, we reach a certain age and everything starts breaking down. Right? But here it is, is that, you know, that devil, right, was just about, you know, just, 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 just moving around like nothing, right? You know, um, well, moving around, but basically, you know, just, just living up to 100 like it was nothing, Okay. Um, but I'm gonna have this pause and I'll, I'll come back to it. Um, you know when 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 you know when when we when we start up, right? So it says war criminal, right, has died, right? In his lifetime, he's been responsible for some of the worst atrocities in the history of the world, right? And you see him just basically having, you know, that blood cake, right? Chile, Cyprus, um, Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, right? Iran, uh, East uh, Timor. Right, Bangladesh, and what's it, what's that saying at the bottom? Oh, nothing. That's the name of the artist. Okay, um, so I'll, I'll read. I'll read some of these. It says under Nixon, uh, Kissinger oversaw the massacre of millions in Vietnam, Cambodia, and Laos from 1969 to 1973. Kissinger was the mastermind behind the carpet bombing of Cambodia, which deliberately targeted civilians, personally approving all uh, base 3,875 bombing raids in Cambodia. Okay, um, I've not independently verified that, but it says more than seven and a half million tons of bombs were dropped on Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia, double the amount dropped on Europe and Asia during the entire World War II. Right? To this day, Laos remains the most bombed country in world history. Okay, it says Henry ordered Henry ordered to bomb everything that moves and anything that flies in Cambodia. 50,000 to 150,000 civilians were murdered from the bombings in Cambodia alone. Genocide, he goes on to say. So I looked up that quote, right? So, and it, it comes from, and it's funny, man, just once again, it's going to, to, to how this man speaks, right? He lies. In fact, let's grab that. This is um, Psalms uh, 55 and 21. It says, uh, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. And this is quite literally it. They literally called it Operation Freedom Deal. Yet they're going to do what? Nothing but massacre. Right? It says, so war is in his heart. So his words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. So it says, um, Operation Freedom Deal. Um, let me see how much of this I'm going to read. Uh, so it's in the post-incursion period freedom deal was originally an interdiction effort uh the act of prohibiting or forbidding something uh it says strike and enemy supply lines in eastern cambodia and was restricted to a 50 kilometer uh, a, 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 a deep area between south vietnamese border and the mekong river I'll just jump down to here post invasion escalation so during the rest of the year the freedom deal area of operations was, was expanded three times transcripts of telephone conversation revealed that by december 1970 nixon's dissatisfaction with the success of the bombings prompted him to order that they be stepped up right so it's like oh shit basically he said look man this ain't doing enough damage this ain't killing enough people right yet when we say that this this edomite got to go Right, people look at us like we're the we're the bi we're the bad ones, right? We ain't the bad ones, <laughs> right? He saw the evil scriptures uh, says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, right? Yet whereas the scriptures say of Israel that you know the earnest expectation, right, of the creature is for the manifestations of the sons of God, because once again deep down, right, in this in 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 in, in these in the spirit, right, uh, you know, of these different heathens, right? they want Israel to rule, man. They know Esau ain't the one. Right, Esau caused all the damn problems in the whole earth. 
Okay, so continuing on, it says, um, they have to go in there, and I mean really go in, he told Kissinger. It says, I want them to hit everything. I want them to use the big planes, the small planes, everything uh, that they can that will help out there, and let's start giving them a little shock. Kissinger then relayed Nixon's order saying a massive bombing campaign in Cambodia, anything that flies and on anything that moves. Okay, so basically saying, get them, <laughs> right? We don't care how, but just get them, right? So that's, that's that on Cambodia, right? So it goes into, say, Chile. It says in Chile, Kissinger played a key role in, orchestrated the, in orchestrating the US-backed 1973 coup that toppled the socialist government of El Salvador, um, government of Salvador Allende and installed the fascist Augusto Pinochet, right? And and this is what they always always do. How how is it that they can install a leader? Yet if anyone else wants to, it's like, oh no, you can't do that. You're interfering. So it's Pinochet's brutal regime murdered thousands and subjected tens of thousands more to torture during his 16 year reign. Um, it says Kissinger aided the Pakistani dictator Yahya Khan. Uh, uh, against Bangladesh Liberation War of 1971, enabling the massacre of an estimated 300,000 to 3 million people. And if it's Esau giving you a number, always go higher. All right, so it ain't going to be 300, it's going to be nearly, nearly 3 million, if not significantly more. Right, and, uh, and what's, what's interesting as well is when you look over here, what the trending topic is, you know, what, what, what's that? That's Satan, right? Satan and, and, and it's very much in reference to because uh, I looked at this earlier on okay it's very much in reference to Henry Kissinger right you know basically just you know people uh, uh, basically speaking of their dissatisfaction with that individual to put it lightly okay and uh, you know you, you see all of this man just you know that's malnutrition okay no just 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 messed up man you know but this is the history of these um uh this is the history of these these devils man this is this is this is who they are right in fact let's grab this now this is um you know more so in reference well it's not more so this is in reference to the children of israel but this is esau's mo this is his spirit he doesn't hate spilling blood this is equal 35 and 5 because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and that shed the blood of the children of israel by the force of the force of the sword in the time of the calamity the time that their iniquity had an end right um uh, and once again this is very much you know in reference uh, to israel right but he he likes shedding blood in general Right, it's nothing to him, but Israel like blood. That's like, that's you know that that for him is is is, is what he loves doing, right? Which is why he pushes all of this death cult music, all this death cult culture, right, on our people. It says therefore, as I as I live, saith the Lord Power, I'll prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee, right? And sith, which means since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. So this devil, he don't hate blood. He loves it. Right, this is Psalms uh, 140 from the top. It says, Deliver me, O Lord Yahweh, from the evil man, preserve me from the violent man. And when you're reading this, this is just nothing but violence. It says, Which imagine mischiefs in their heart, continually are they gathered together for war. And once again, that's <clears throat> that's what you're seeing here. Just it's just a gathering for war, right? For destruction, for death, man. Okay, in fact, let's grab that as well, real quick. This is uh, Habakkuk 2. And five, right? It says, yea, also because he transgresseth by wine, which is his philosophies, right? Because you have certain people that will, uh, 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 in his media and his system, that will basically push propaganda that says, oh no, this was necessary. We had to do this. Right? We had to go in there and kill all of these people. Okay, um, uh, you know that, that that's what's that's just an example. This idea that America can't do any wrong, that America are the freedom fighters, the police of the world. Right, that's just part of his philosophies, but you know, then you go into those countries now, right? He'll be pushing the alphabet stuff in those countries, right? In fact, East Asia, that's a that's a major, um, you know, sex tourism hub, you know, uh, for him. So you, you look at what, what you know when we go back up to that map, wherever it was, uh, where did we see the map? I think it was in this, yeah, Thailand. You know, what do you have in Thailand? You got all of those bloody. You know, weirdo lady boys and that, right? But that's 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 um, 
uh, 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 which and then what does what does Esau do? He pushes that as a holiday destination. Yeah, man, you go there, you, you know, you go, you know, get, you know, freak off with them lady boys, man. Right, this place has got to go. This this world has got to go. Right, he says he is a proud man. Right, once again, this idea that he he has the power to install leaders and to do this and to have full control of the earth, which ultimately Lord has given it to him. Lord, but Lord is the one uh, that made him so proud. Right, but the Lord is the one that's going to judge him. <laughs> it says neither keepeth at home. Right, what the hell is America doing all the way all the way over here? I ain't got no business being over there. Okay, it says um, who, and uh, who enlarges his desire as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied. Right, there's nothing like this. You can give this man. He's got power over the earth. Yet yeah, that's not enough for him. He wants more and more and more and more and more. Okay, so he says that he cannot be satisfied. To gathereth unto him all all nations and heapeth unto him all people. Okay, so that's it on that one. So we continue on. It says Kissinger authorized <clears throat> and armed Suharto, the fascist Indonesian dictator, in his genocidal invasion of East Timor in 1975. This campaign led to the death of over 200,000 Timorese through massacres and forced starvation. This is in 76. I mean, it just goes on. <laughs> in 76, Kissinger uh, gave his pre approval to Argentina's right wing military junta for their dirty war against leftists, resulting the brutal murder, torture, and disappearance of over 30,000 people. This is only a glimpse into the extensive list of Henry Kissinger's crimes, and new things are still being revealed year, uh, every single year, right? Henry Kissinger will be remembered as one of the biggest mass murderers in history. So, look, because because let, let's let's look at some of these numbers, right? And once again, when you're dealing with Esau, oh, you need to nearly always add an extra zero to whatever number he gives you, right? But just going off, just 30,000 here, right? 230,000 sets, so what? 230,000. Um, we're going to take the upper million, 3.2 million, okay? Um, doesn't give you a number here. Um, 2.3 so 2 uh, so 3. Point, uh, basically 3.4 million right yeah so yeah 3.4 million people attributed to this one devil okay no it says what I mean it says the killing of of, of millions so they've just not given a number for for Vietnam okay so this devil's you know responsible for the deaths of millions, but this is just what an Edomite does. This is the spirit of, of 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 an Edomite. Okay, so let's go back to this Psalm seventy three and six. Therefore, pride compasses them about as a chain; violence covereth them as a garment. As we read in Psalms one forty, right, preserve me from the violent man. Their eyes stand out with fatness; they will, they have more than heart could wish. Right, so here it is: they have everything, but it's not enough. Right, they just want to go out, do more and more and more. So they are corrupt and speak wickedly. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. Right, they're proud, man. Right, and once again, you have people that will will go back, look at these these crimes, and justify them. Oh, but if we didn't come, right, and that's it. Right, so what is what is uh uh, uh what do you call it? What is he going through at the moment? Right, so this is. Um, 2 Corinthians 5 and 10 right? For we must all appear before the judgment seat of, of Yahweh Shai That everyone may receive the things done in his body According to that he hath done Whether it be good or bad right? So when, when you die, scripture says in Ecclesiastes your, um, Basically the body goes back down into the earth Right. However, the, the, the spirit goes back to, to, to the father who made it right? And then basically sit in front of the seat And you get judged right? You're like, look man, this is what's going to happen it said this X Y and Z, and you, know, you know when when you come back on Earth, that's when you're gonna you're gonna uh, feel, uh, you know that that punishment. Now it says of this right in Job uh, the third chapter <clears throat> that in the spiritual realm everything's cool, everything's blessed. Right, it's Job three and three and I'm gonna jump. It says uh, let the day perish wherein I was born and the night in which it was said there is a man child conceived. Right, so basically saying let you know I, I wish that I was in the spirit realm basically right. Verse 11 says, Why died I not from the womb? Why did I not give up the ghost when I came out the belly? Why did the knees pre why did the knees prevent me? Or why the breast that I should suck? For now I should have lain still and been quiet. I should have slept. Then had I been at rest. Right? With the kings and councils of the earth, which 
built desolate places for themselves or with princes that had gold or who filled their house with silver or as in hidden untimely birth had I not been as infants which never saw the light. It says there the wicked cease from troubling and there the weary be at rest. Right. Uh, and that's it. Right. So everyone. So, you know, we uh, when 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 one dies, they go into the spiritual realm, they get judged. Right. And then, you know, they're, they're in the spiritual realm. Everything's peaceful. So everything's at rest. There ain't, ain't no burning in hell. OK. And once again, this is why, you know, you, you have people that want to hold on to this concept of hell because they see someone like this who has done all of this wickedness in the world. Yet, you know, seemingly just dies and goes into peace. And they want this individual to suffer. But hey, don't worry, they gonna he's going to suffer. Right. He's going to suffer. OK. But he's going to suffer when he comes back on earth. Right. In, in slavery. So it's uh, yeah, so so we read that, right? So there's Ecclesiastes three sixteen now. It says and moreover I saw under the sun, right, what's under the sun, the earth, right, the place of judgment, that wickedness was there, and the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there. So after getting the judgment, you, you know, rest in the third or fourth generation, you come back to the earth where you come and uh, you know, serve your judgment. And for him, this is this is this is what he's got to look forward to. This is um, Isaiah Ezekiel Slaki thirty nine from fourteen. It says, and they shall sever out men. So that yes, yeah, so he comes back, get his judge, and he 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 find he's found out. Nah, man, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back in slavery against them. You know, <laughs> you know it goes. They, you know, yeah, he's gonna come back, right? And you know, and and serve those that he 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 tried so hard to destroy, i.e., the Israelites. Right, because yeah, he's you know bombing campaigns, you know, uh, across these other heathen nations or whatever. But you, if he's got power to do that, then you you know for sure that he knows about Israel. He knows who we really are, right? And he would have been putting things in place, right, to 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 kill Jake, man. You know, when Jake went to that war, right, I bet you would have made sure that Jake were 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 in the in the heat of the battle. <laughs> Right, you know, this is me just you know speculating or whatever. But he 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 he's he he's um uh, uh you know one of them them devils, man. Right, so he's gonna come back. I'm like man, all these people have been oppressing. I'm gonna come back and be their slave. Yes, you are. Right, so Ezekiel thirty nine from fourteen, and they shall sever up men of continuing play employment. Right now, it's gonna be those that survive. Right, you know, starting off with the elites that survive. You know, in their bunkers, what is it saying? Amos, you know, they shall uh, you know, dig into hell, they shall bring them out, i.e. they shall dig into the earth, their deep underground military bases, or go into the heavens. Okay, so it's going to start off with them. Right? It says, and shall serve out men of continued employment, passing through the land to bury with the passengers those that remain upon the face of the earth to cleanse it. After the end of seven months, they shall search. So basically, you're gonna have um, uh, the what's the word I'm looking for? You're gonna have you know yeah the 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 elites that make it. They gonna we gonna be using them to bury the dead bodies, man. Right, that's their first job. All right, but then continue on. They just gonna be working, man. They're gonna be working. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I remember when the old boy was saying, "Ain't gonna be no job seekers in the kingdom." <laughs> you know, they they you know these these heathens. They gonna be working, man. Um, and then this is it's the Psalms 149 from 6 It says let the high praise of the Most High be in their mouth And a two-edged sword in their hand To execute vengeance upon the heathen And punishments upon the people To bind their kings with chains And their nobles with fetters of iron To execute the judgment written This honour have all his saints Praise ye Yahweh So that's one of the things that we're going to be uh, Looking forward to in the kingdom Having these different heathens in subjection right? Having them you know, uh, underfoot Okay, right. You know, the, especially the, the the rulers of this world, whether it be Elizabeth, right, whether it be Charles or Philip, right, whether it be a, a Rockefeller or Rothschild, right, or Kissinger, that like they they gonna be they gonna be under our feet, you know, and we can't wait for that. Is Isaiah forty five from fourteen says the thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, the labour of Egypt and merchandise of Ethiopia and of the Sabians, men of stature shall come over unto thee, and they shall all and they shall be thine. They shall come after thee in chains. They shall come over and they shall fall down unto thee. They shall make supplication unto thee, saying, Surely the Most High is in thee, and there is none else. 
there is no God, right? This is Isaiah 49, 23, and the kings and kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth, and lick up the dust of thy feet. And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh, and they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. Right? So the rulers of this world, they're going to be serving us in the kingdom. Right, when the last one to hit the the, 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 the that point home, Isaiah 60 and 10, and the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Okay, so as always, Lord, if I read verse 11, it says, Therefore thy gates shall be open continually, they shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and their kings may be brought. Right, so once again, laws all that was edifying, and yeah, yeah, man, these these elites are dying out, man. <laughs> they're dying out, so they let's let they're gonna start having to move a lot quicker. Oh shit, I just clocked the words. It says Satan for forty four point four, uh, a uh, 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 thousand uh, posts, man. Right, to four four four. So as always, laws all that was edifying. These these elites are dying out, so let's not be surprised if they start. Um, you know, Revelation 12 and 12 more and more, right? So as always, Lord's laws, I was edifying to the next time we say, Shalom.